How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Noki and you're here once again for another edition of the news with Noki. Today I'll be covering some possible rumors about a delay for the upcoming DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, as well as the related news of all of the officially confirmed dates for all of the Marvel projects for the upcoming Phase 4, some actually positive and very exciting news coming out of Star Wars, and today's story of the day which is actually something that I'm sure many of you have been waiting for, which is the announcement of this month's battle stream here on my channel. So now, on to the news! Where we begin today by discussing all of the whispers in the Pokemon community of the possibility that the upcoming DLC Isle of Armor may be delayed beyond its original June release. As we've been seeing all of the varying delays unfold throughout the entertainment community, it isn't too hard to believe that some of these gaming projects could also be delayed if they're still in some of their earlier development stages, as many of these projects actually take a number of people working hands-on to make them and distribute them. Though, judging by what they have indeed showed off, it does seem like they are very near to completion and wrapping everything up for development. So there is still a chance that only some pre-release fine-tuning is still necessary. Now the elongated time in which we all end up experiencing all of these delays and closures throughout the world could indeed impact the overall release schedule for the Crown Tundra however, instead of being in November it could very well be pushed beyond that. From the very little that they've actually shown off of this DLC, it doesn't seem like they have entirely all of it together as of yet, and therefore it seems like there's still a lot of work before they can actually put it out. However, it is important to note that the gaming industry as a whole is a little bit more resilient than others, since much of the work can be done at home during all of these stay at home orders. Therefore, games and DLC could still be released to the general public digitally, since those things don't require physical distribution. So here's to hoping that all of us will be sitting back enjoying the Isle of Armor come June. And now on to Marvel! And today we actually have some official confirmation from Marvel Studios as to when all of their Phase 4 projects will be delayed until. Though we certainly have to all keep in mind that these dates could end up changing as time goes on and these orders end up continuing far beyond what they already are. And I must say that this upcoming schedule is a little disheartening as it does prove a lot of people's worst fears to be true. As essentially the entire Phase 4 of the MCU has been shifted into 2021 and even into 22. With only Black Widow still slotted to come out this year, and not until November 6th at that which is quite a considerable jump from its original May release, which also quieted a lot of the speculation and rumor that Black Widow could get a digital release on Disney+. Plus. Black Widow is then followed up by The Eternals on February 12th of 2021 and Shang-Chi on May 7th of 2021. Then for another six month time jump in 2021 from May until November 5th when Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness debuts. And moving onward to the year beyond that into 2022, Two, we have Thor Love and Thunder on February 18th and two movies that had not previously been officially confirmed Black Panther 2 on May 8th and Captain Marvel 2 on July 8th. As of right now, Marvel Studios has not given us any indication as to when all of the Disney Plus series will be switched back to. However, I will keep you all informed as soon as I know. Moving along into Star Wars today and for some more positive news, we have the information coming out that there actually has been a brand new writer brought on for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Joby Harold will be taking over as the writer for this series ever since Hossein Amini left the show back in January. Though to many people people's hesitation as Joby has never before actually written for a television series. Most recently he was actually the executive producer on John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum and was a writer for Zack Snyder's film Army of the Dead. And he was also one of two writers chosen to be part of the brand new take on the Transformer franchise. Which has actually been leading many people to speculate that maybe they're considering bringing the Obi-Wan Kenobi series back over to the silver screen. Which as many of you may know was the original plan for the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie and then turned into an Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series. So many people have been taking this information and pointing to the fact that maybe they're going to turn this into a shorter series with longer episodes. Possibly three to four episodes rather than the original six, 
maybe now over 45 minutes to an hour long, and able to portray the story of Obi-Wan Kenobi a little bit more clearly than they originally had planned for. And finally, for my channel news, where we actually have the story of the day, where I'm very eager and excited to announce this month's battle stream. So, mark your calendars for Saturday, April 18th, from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Bring out your best teams of six to compete, though no legendary Pokemon will be allowed. This battle stream will actually be in the single battle format rather than the double battle we did the previous couple of months, and the top prize winner will walk away with a shiny Pokemon holding a Master Ball. Not only that, but if you're actually a member of our Discord server and you end up walking away victor of this battle stream, you will be given a very special role in that community as Pokemon Master. And all other battle participants will also be given a special role as Pokemon Trainer for participating in the battle stream. So be on the lookout for further details and the code to enter in the coming days. And as always, don't forget to join the Discord server, the link is in the description down below, to be part of our growing and thriving community of Pokemon and gaming fans. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a max knuckle all over that like button, and don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you thought of today's stories. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this has been Professor Noki signing out once again for Noki Talks.